Many fans were very pleased after the news of Wonder Woman's development, as we finally see a new superhero processed in the game world that has great potential. As the game is being developed by Monolith, fans already have ideas in mind about the studio's effect on appearance and gameplay, at least compared to the developer's latest games. The studio has created Middle-Earth games Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, titles with multiple mechanics that can make their way into a game of Wonder Woman character. Diana usually carries a sword that can resemble Talion, the protagonist of Middle-Earth games. While Diana's transhuman features can also be used to design Celebrimbor's ghost capabilities, there's no information to see how similar the two games are to each other, but there's a basic gameplay design that Wonder Woman needs to find a better alternative to, are greatly improved than Middle-Earth games. Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War are open-world games that include the expandable parts of Mordor and its neighborhoods to explore. This makes the Nemesis system invented by Warner Brothers and Monolith Studios very appealing, as gamers will encounter commanders of the Ark race who may have clashed with them in the past or encounter commanders who have their own storyline. Gamers usually navigate the freed towers in this open world, thanks to the high speed of Race A, Elvin, on foot, riding on Karagor or via fast travel to the freed towers, the universe of this series is captivating, and there are many collectible items that gamers can find, but when the player wants to enter a main or minor stage, this shift between exploration and stages takes place unconnected. There is no continuity between the exploration of the open world and predetermined narrative moments. Instead, gamers arrive at the designated location and see an icon in the environment they have to interact with. After that, the description of the missions appears in a window where the story information and rewards of completing these missions are visible. Usually, a cutscene is displayed, and gamers will suddenly be moved to the place where they need to perform the step. This stage structure is not necessarily discouraging or bad, and may even work very well in many games. The trick of inserting a loading page between surfing the gaming world and its narrative parts is sometimes done in the form of a shift from an external location to an internal location. But taking into account other games of today's open world, this trick is no longer obsolete, the presence of a prompt that will allow you to enter a catheter that occurs somewhere else feels undesirable and makes the world of Middle-Earth games look unconnected. Today, the construction of open-world games should be aimed at combining explorable world-scrolling and fictional missions, and Wonder Woman from Monolith Studios can well implement this system. Anyway, we don't know anything about Wonder Woman's appearance or gameplay at this moment, and it may be quite distinctive and reloaded compared to the studio's Middle-Earth games. The only reason for this comparison is the existence of a common developer between Middle-Earth Games and Wonder Woman. If Wonder Woman is the result of Middle-Earth gaming experience, we hope that the structure will abandon Monolith's dry stages. Wonder Woman, for example, doesn't have to use the supposedly cut God of War landscape, but it nonetheless has to be without a quick and restrictive cut in the appearance of an interface notification and seamlessly insert into narrative cutoffs. The other obsolete feature of the Middle-Earth game stage structure is revealed when you enter one stage and suddenly move to another environment. This is one of the consequences of the same stage shift design that has a sense of discontinuity and makes the game world irrelevant. Nearly five years have passed since the release of Middle-Earth Shadow of War, and Wonder Woman is likely to have already abandoned many of Monolith's past designs to build a new stage structure. It is unclear when fans will get more details of Wonder Woman, such as gameplay and how it is used by the Nemesis system, but we hope that the dry structure of the stages and their sudden and artificial entry into the missions will not be seen in this title. Wonder Woman is being developed for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox X S series consoles and PC platform.